Hi guys, today I want to share with you a little personal story. Well, my parents have been using this really, really old archaic system for the last, well, over 20 years, I think. And most of the time it wasn't even working properly. So I thought, well, having this beauty right at my fingertips, why not just upgrade this to this? Wouldn't that be great? So I gathered a bunch of great stuff and then I've decided to upgrade it once and for all. Now, when I uncovered the old system, it turned out that, well, first of all, there was a lot of spiders there. Second of all, there were only two wires that were actually still working, going from that old intercom to home. Fortunately, this video intercom has two different interfaces. The regular IP interface with regular PoE and the two-wire interface. So, I was covered. When you look at the IP interface, first of all, you have this quick setup feature. So from starting the device to operation, it just takes around four minutes for the setup. And that's it. It's just like that. Very easy. For the two-wire interface that I needed in my situation, because I only had two functioning wires, it's great if you have, just like me, old cabling that was eaten by some, some rats and you want to upgrade to a new system, you want to go online and you want to be in the 21st century. And with those two wires, not only you get the video and audio, of course you have the door control, even door control for the second door or gate, and you, of course, have power. So through those two wires, you pretty much get everything you need. And it's extremely versatile. And that's great because it's so convenient to connect it. You don't have to worry about what cabling will my customer have. It's easier to plan um, the stock of this device. So you have one device and no matter if you need IP interface or two wire interface, you just, get, you just get this one device and you're covered. And then you simply connect it and you're good to go. So I cleaned up the, that hole from the old device a little bit made a space, fit it nicely, then I sealed it uh, so it's nice and waterproof and it uh, sticks there, and then job well done, deserves a reward. All right, now let's connect the device. Well, fortunately, I had my amazing PFM906, which helped me with all the connections that I needed if I wanted to check some instructions. And speaking of connections, there is actually many different interfaces in the back of this device. When you look at the back, you have pretty much all you might need in your installation. So, of course, you have the two-wire interface, you have the connection to the door lock, the door sensor if you need it, to the open button from the other side of the door if it's necessary, and it even provides power to a controller for second door or a gate in my situation. So it's time to install it. All right, there we go. Then connect it to the two-wire switch. They're just tiny little wires like that connect it to the monitor, and boom, you're set, just like that. From this to this, it looks just stunning compared to what it was before, and I'm really pleased with the result. And you have a beautiful view, really nice and wide angle, so you can cover a big area, so you can see even a bunch of people, if you have a lot of visitors, hopefully, for a party. And you're set because you have WDR as well. So even if there's direct sunlight, you still see the face nice and clear. All right, let's take a first call. And then when you pick up the call, you can simply click over here to open one of the doors. You see you have door number one, door number two, or if not door number two, it can be a gate, like in our situation. You can click over here to take a picture of the person that you're talking to or record a clip of the whole conversation. And then if you have more cameras, you can actually click here and you can see what's happening in the background from another camera. And another feature that I really like is if you put a memory card in the device, you can actually have video messages being recorded. So if you're not home, somebody just can press the button and leave a message, which is really nice. You can check it on the monitor or on your mobile phone, just like that. You click on view video messages and you're set. The intercom is going to ask you if you'd like to leave a message. Then you can see the message from anywhere in the world on your mobile phone or simply on the monitor when you come back home. It's that easy. It's all clipped right there when you need it. And if you have a secondary door or a gate 
that you would like to control with the app as well, just from one place, you just add this little controller that is slightly bigger than a box of matches. You get power from the VTO, and there you go, you just put it next to the gate, you connect it to the right uh, wires, you need to check with the gate uh, instructions. And well, if you have a lot of cables just like me in this situation and you don't know which cable is what because there were, there were so many different locations with a lot of cables that look the same, fortunately I had my magical PFM906. With the PFM906 I could easily find, well, this bunch of cables goes where? So I connected the PFM906 and then I managed to find, aha, uh -huh, all right, this is the right cable. So I could connect the VTO to the little controller and just like that, you click, you open the door, you open the gate so I can control the gate from my app from anywhere in the world. So it's just like having a SIM card inside your remote because you can open the gate from anywhere in the world just with your mobile phone. And if you lose your remote, you're also fine. You got your smartphone. And there is one more thing. Hey Siri, open the gate. And the coolest part is you can just press a button and ask Siri to open the gate for you. Open the gate. Welcome home. That's it. Just like that. Ladies and gentlemen, 21st century, just like that. And you can add IP cameras to the monitor so you can actually see what's going on around your house. And I found out that I have some mysterious cable. Well, what could I possibly do with that? 